today we're going to be making a um, mini Victorian street lamp. Um, what you're going to need, and some of this will depend on what you're using, I have some Mod Podge um, because my base is ceramic, so the Mod Podge just gives the paint something to hold on to, black paint, a glue gun, or you can use E6000. I prefer glue guns because the E6000 takes so long to cure. Um, ribbon of your choice, flowers of your choice, a flameless candle, and then a candy dish, a glass candy dish of some kind. The lid can be metal, plastic, or glass. Um, and this really does work best if you can do all glass. I just really couldn't find a vase that had the look that I was going for. So I have already mod podged my vase. And I have some black paint. And I am just going to start by doing a coat of black paint. Um, you will probably end up needing to do two coats. That's what I did on my test one of these that um, I made a couple days ago. So we're just going to go ahead and get this painted. Once this is painted and I have the coats on it that I need, um, I'll come back and show you what to do next. I just got my second coat on my candlestick. So I'm going to go ahead and start on our glass candy jar. Now, if you're doing, if you're using a candy jar that has a plastic or a metal lid, um, you're not going to have to do part of this step. Um, but if you're using glass, I would suggest doing this. Um, I take mine and turn it inside out, and I paint the inside of it just to give it a base coat. Um, it just helps to darken the lid without actually having to do four or five coats on the outside of it. So I'm going to paint the out, the inside of my lid. And once I have this painted, I will flip it over and paint the outside um, black as well until I get it um, to the color that I want. And I'll just work on this while I'm working on the candlestick as well. And once I get these done, we will come back and look at how to put this together. Okay, so it's the next day. I ended up doing two coats on my uh, candle holder. And uh, I'm just going to take my ribbon. And let's find the center. And I'm just going to do this one. And a knot. I just want the tendrils to hang down really. So, and you can do this so that you can change this out or you can glue everything on if you want to keep it this way. I'm leaving mine glued on because the colors really match what we have already. Um, so let me um, get you guys turned around so you can see the rest of what I'm doing. Okay, so since I just have this in a knot, I'm really not going to have to work around a bow or anything. Um, so I'm just going to get this placed how I want it. And I'm going to stick a little bit of glue in here. And then once I have the glue on, I am just going To slip it up under my knot. And the good thing is the leaves are separate on this, so I can kind of twist the leaves how I want them to.
So, and then we're going to take our next flower. And slide that one in where you would like it to be. And then we're going to do the same thing with this third flower. And I, I really love this because it can be as customized as you want it to be for your house or for a gift even. This makes a great Christmas present. Okay, now that we have our flowers on, um, you can use E6000 for this part. I like to just use glue. Um, and we are just going to get this really, really filled up as best we can. And then we're going to take our candy dish. And we're just going to set it down on top. We really want to make sure that it's making contact with that glue. So, and that's what it looks like so far. Okay, now that we have our glass bowl on here, um, we can put our flameless candle in. You can leave this white. I choose to paint mine black because when you look at the old street lamps, the part that came up that act was where the gas came through that they would light and held the wick was actually black to match the lampstand. So I paint mine black. And we'll just turn it on. And stick it in. And then we're going to get our lid. And these lids fit tight. And there is our mini. Um, Victorian street lamp. So if you guys do make these, um, head over to our, we have a Facebook group. Um, it's the Modern Victorians on, face group, on Facebook. Um, if you'll join our group, send me all the pictures or post your pictures of the ones that you make. I want to see all the different gorgeous designs that you make. 